или я? Hi and welcome Toastmasters of the day, fellow guests and members. Today I'll be your Toastmasters and I will start the meeting by inviting our one and only President Alicia Chai to give her welcome speech. Alicia is a happy-go-lucky person who enjoy life, aim to live in the moment, create memories and enjoy the journey more, more than the destination. My hobbies are playing the saxophone, digital phot photography, sports, being a tourist within her own country. She's a Vempow TMC, immediate past and present, and mentor in 2019. And she was treasurer of the Toastmasters Club as well. Please help me welcome our president today, Alicia Chai. Thank you, Toastmaster De Asmina. A few months ago, something bad happened to me. I was scared and afraid. The confident Alicia you, you see today was no longer confident. And my confidence permitted all the way down to the lowest level. My world crashed. It seemed to me the door slammed on my face and I was lost in time. And my inner light diminished. In fact, at that time, I was the vice president of education of this club. And I couldn't fulfill my duties I'm so sorry, club members, that I fell short that time. I wanted to end my Toastmaster journey and probably the face of the earth as well. Then the universe opened the door slightly, but I was afraid and asked myself, should I open the door and step into this new world and take the risk? So I thought, many thoughts went through my mind. And I was lucky. I made the decision to step into the, open the door and step into the riskier world. And I made the decision because I had my parents, my good friends, and my sisters and brothers of this SGI club. These are the people that became the light that once my light was diminished at one time, remember? My light reignited with their care and support. And I realized that there were opportunities out there waiting for me, much more than a bad thing that happened to me. And the bad thing still exists, but the opportunities overweight that. At hindsight, I'm glad I decided to open the door and step into the new world. Because when the universe opened the door slightly, it will not open forever for me. So I made that decision that I made to step into it was good. If I didn't make the decision, the door will close, universe will close the door. And that would probably be the end of me. You wouldn't even see me here talking to you right now. And so today is a new beginning. A new beginning for me. My life has changed. Business has picked up. 
and I have already delivered four workshops. So what has a precedent for SGI? I want to do more for myself and more for the club because the club has done so much for me. In fact, this club was with me when I shifted to my new house last September. We had the e-karaoke function. That was the first time I shifted to my new house. And it kept me warm and I was no longer lonely. So I remember this quote, if your actions inspire others to dream more, to learn more, do more and become more, then you are the leader by John Quincy Adams. So my mission is to inspire all of you out there. And in the act, in the act of inspiring all, everyone there, I get inspired myself. So we all can become dynamic persons or dynamic speakers as what this club is named. Just give me a minute. So I, I would like everyone to remember that you can be a dynamic person. It all starts with your mental. Don't be afraid to walk through that difficult and out of your comfort zone. Because the first thing you need to be a dynamic, before you be a dynamic speaker, you need to have a dynamic mindset. Before I hand back to the Toastmaster today, I'd like to leave you with a quote. Just give me a minute. Be dynamic, just like life. Innovate, create, explore, and never become stagnant by Akin Olokun. So back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Alicia Chai, for giving us such a wonderful speech about how to, your journey, your light journey towards the light and how you have received the opportunities and only giving us recommendation and suggestions that only actions, taking prompt actions can take you towards the journey and accepting opportunities and become a dynamic leader. So the inauguration and new beginning, which is our theme of the today, which means to fortify, to refresh, to energize oneself, become healthier, happier. You can feel invigoration by taking morning walks, sitting in meditation, cooking a delicious food, horseback riding, connecting with friends, taking yoga classes. As Oprah Winfrey has said once, the future is full of possibilities. Whether you make some tiny changes or whole invigorating, thrilling, inspiring bunch of them. With that, let's go to our next segment which is introduction of the helpers. So our first helper is the timer, which is Corey. I would like to invite Ms. Corey to please give the introduction of your timing. Ms. Corey. Greetings to Madam and Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster and guests. As timer, I will time the table topic speakers, formal speakers and evaluators. I will also alert each speakers of the time they have left using the green, yellow, and red cards, which denote specific times remaining. Thank you, Corey. Now I would uh, invite our counter Sebastian Suantino. Suanito, please give some introduction of your work. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. 
Thank you. Good evening, Mrs. President, Flutus Masters and guests. The purpose of uh, the encounter is to note words and sounds that are used as crutch or postula. Uh, during the meeting, I will listen to overused words, including and, well, but, so, you know. I will also listen to filler words, including ah, uh, um, uh. I will also note when a speaker speaks, repeats the words or phrase such as I, this means. And at the end of the meeting, I will report the number of, the number of times a, the, each speaker used these, these expressions. Thank you, over to you. Thank you, Sebastian. Now I would like to invite our grammarian, Patricia Tay. Please give the introduction of your work. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Good day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I am Patricia. I am your grammarian for today. I will be listening actively as you speak so I can pick up some mistakes and put it down on paper. Later on, I will tell you what the mistakes are. I will also be listening carefully for good phrases. The word of the day is invigorate. It is invigorating to see all of you here today. I feel so invigorated to see your smiles. Thank you, everyone. Have a good time. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Patricia. Okay. Now let's move on to table topic segment. Now table topics are the one which allows you to speak impromptu. You may not prepare beforehand and you have to be ready you must improve your listening skills. It's, it's testing your listening skills and thinking on the feed on that time. So let me invite Peter Chong to conduct a table topic session. Peter Chong, take it away. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and welcome guests. As, as Asmina sharing, Table topic enable a member to develop the skill of impromptu speaking. Also, it helps to train members to quickly organize and express their thoughts. You can think of the table topic speech as a mini speech which with an opening, a body, and a conclusion. This also provides a speaking opportunity for any member who is not on duty in the meeting agenda. Definitely, guests are also encouraged to participate in these sessions. Now, again, let me introduce our lovely timer today, Curry, to assist for the speech timing. Each speaker is required to speak for one to two minutes and Corey will change his background to blue screen when you start your speech. And will change to the green screen when you reach one minute. And will change to yellow screen if you reach one minute and 13 seconds. And change to red screen when you reach two minutes. And then you are required to wrap up your speech between 30 seconds. Each speaker are also encouraged to use words of the day in your speech. Today, words is invigorate. Before we start the table topic session, let me just remind the speaker to pin the timer before you start your speech. So now let me share my screen. Just a moment, let me share my screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes we can. Is it a full screen or it will be the presentation mode? Just uh, to presentation verify. mode. It's not full screen. See, just let me do some adjustment. Sure.
Is this better now? Yes, it's full screen now. You're good. See. So we, our teams of the table topic is new beginning. Now we have 10 table topic for selections. Who will be volunteer for the first speakers? Can I volunteer? Sure, definitely. So which number you are picking? I would like to have number four. Sure, good choice. Let me switch to number four. Number four will be the first step towards getting somewhere is to decide you are not going to stay where you are. The first step towards getting somewhere is to decide you are not going to stay where you are by JP Morgan. Hand over to you. Thank you. I would like to see the timer. I cannot pin the timer. See, Corey, could you could you say something? No, no time. Oh. Um, I'm the timer. Okay, thank you very much. Can I start now? Sure. Hang over to you, Mr. Yusuf. Thank you very much. I do agree with this statement. I remember another quote similar to this one. A journey of a thousand miles start with a single step. If you want to do something, you don't only plan and think in your head, but you must start doing it. Let me give you an example. When I was in college, I wanted to go abroad to work and study. It is not only what I wanted to do it, but I started working on it. I started looking for a scholarship. What should I do if I can, if I so that I could go abroad? So those are the preparation, those are the things that I am doing. I'm not staying wherever I am. I'm moving all the time until I could get that scholarship to go abroad. And finally, I could go to Switzerland with a scholarship, which is really great. How can I do it? I do it because I do, I move forward from where I am now. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to do something, if you want to be somewhere else, start doing it. Don't only talk, but plan and do it. Thank you very much. Back to you, TP Master. Thank you. Wow, a wonderful speech. So who will be the next? Oh, I believe so, sorry. Gracie, you will be the next. So let me change back to the screen. Which topic are you looking for, Gracie? Thank you so much. I'll have table topic number one. Let's see. The, the beginning is always today. The beginning is always today by Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley. Hang wow. over to you. Thank you so much for this question, Peter. All right. Well, to relate this question, I'd like to bring back another quote that I like. It's that people are different every day. I like this quote because it shows that every single day is a new start, but it's a new start. I mean, think about when a snake sheds its skin, it's called ecdysis. You shed back a layer and ultimately it's a different snake with each passing day. Does that mean you have a different snake? No, I don't think so. I like this quote, the beginning is always today because ultimately you are a different person with each and every passing day, with every new piece of media you consume, with every stranger you talk to, with every piece of good food you eat, you are a different person. And so the beginning is always today. You are just like a snake because you are a different version of yourself every single day, good or bad, that's up to you. So if you're actively trying to change yourself, if you're actively trying to make changes to yourself, just know that it's not permanent, 
whoever you are in that moment isn't who you will be in the future. And it's always possible to change. The beginning is always today, because in my opinion, it's not the first step that's most important. It's always the next step, the step you take after that. Because sure, taking the first step is great and all, but it's no use if you don't continue pursuing that. So I urge all to take comfort in knowing that today is always a new beginning and you're free to pursue whatever it is you want to pursue. You want to lose weight? Start today. You want to quit alcohol? Start today. Thank you very much. And back to you, our lovely Peter Chong. Thank you very much for the information, uh, for the inspired speech. So let's call out uh, Jenny. Jenny would like to try in the topic, uh, table topic sessions. Yenny, are, are you there? You are muted, yeah. Yenny. Okay, can you hear me? Sure. Yeah. I try you number seven. Me? Sure, thank you. So, table topic number seven. So, and now let us welcome the new year for our things that never wear. And now let's welcome the new year for our things that never wear by Rainer Maria Rick. Hand over to you, Yanni. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. And now let us welcome the new year, full of things that never were. This is the new year. Um, I mean, even now it's already Ju uh, July. But I mean, if we can think every day is like a new day and how we can move forward from where we are, whatever the situation that we are, uh, whatever the, the challenge that we have in every day, how we can become a better person in day to day. I know it's easy to say, but how we implement what we should do. Everybody have different type and different kind of personality about what you should do. For me, I'm the kind of person who like to have a, a book. That's why whenever all of you talking, I have a book. I will write it down. Um, I mean, that's how I it helped me to also understand who you are and how I learn. I mean, because for me, every day is a learning experience for me. I can learn from every everyone. Uh, even I can learn from the stranger, from the taxi driver, or uh, you know anyone. And that's why I, for, for myself, every day is a, a new year. And for the challenge that I have and the, what I want to do is actually is uh, the fighting within myself, how day by day to become a better person. It's not to compete with anyone, but how we can compete with ourselves, how we can become a light to people around us, to people that we love, even maybe for people who don't love us, for whatever reason, we cannot control about what they think about us, uh, and but we can control about what we do, what we say, that is in, within our control. So um, that is a bit about me and how I learned to be a better person. I'm not a perfect person, but I'm trying and learning. And I thank you to meet with all of you. It's really a wonderful experience to meet with all of you. Some of you that I met, I mean, I mean, of course, through the Zoom, we cannot meet face to face, but some of your story, even the music that Alicia had last time, I still remember is like, bring me to tears. Thank you. Back to you, as master of the day. See, thanks, Yenny. By hearing your speech, I believe I found some pathway to be a better man. Okay, like, next will be, let's invite Sam Charles for next, top, uh, next topic. Sam, which topic number you, are, you want to have? Uh, six. So, six. You may have a fresh start any moments you choose. For this thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. You may have a fresh start any moment you choose. For this thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but
but the staying down by Mary Pickford. Hand over to you, Sam. I think this sentence is a bit too long and uh, tough to read. So do you want to change to another topic? No, it's okay. I can rephrase it. Great. So uh, I guess uh, so any moment from our our day, our life, um, we don't call it failure. I right, can just uh, kind of restart from any moment. Maybe uh, before that moment, it sounds or it seems a bit like a failure for us based on our assumption, but somehow we can restart it from that moment and then kind of uh, uh, stay down first and then jump it a bit, re restart our journey. Uh, for example, I think recently I just end my seven years relationship with my ex-girlfriend. So that was like a very down moment for me. Like uh, I couldn't fall asleep for almost two weeks. If you have that experience before, you may have the same feeling. And is it was like a failure for me and i was thinking what am i doing in singapore and why did i make that choice and what should i do in the future like so many question mark on my mind and i would i feel like i was a loser because seven years, you know, time flies, and that's it, is it, that's it. So I think after a few weeks uh, reflections and those things, until now, uh, I'm still kind of uh, trying to, I would not say staying down, but uh, kind of understand myself more and discover about the things that I really want to pursue and uh, kind of relocate the things that I want to pursue as well. So I, I would say uh, if you encounter the same similar situation before in your life, it's okay. If you don't think that's a failure, then that's not a failure. If you think you can pass it and still move forward, then you can move forward, just like me. As long as uh, the things that will not kill us, that will make us stronger. So hopefully, uh, anything happen in your life, that moment you may feel down, but it's okay. You feel fail, it's okay. Next moment, try to use another mindset to think differently and move forward. And eventually you will see the light in your tunnel. Over to Peter. Thanks Sam for the sharing. So let's invite the next speaker, Owens. Owens, which table topic that actually you want to choose? Uh, can I have number three, please? Sure. It is never too late to be what you might be happy because it is never too late to be what you might have been. It is never too late to be what you might have been by Joss Elliott. Hand over to you, Owen. I don't have enough time. That is one of the most common excuses we hear everywhere, whether it is for work or our hobbies or even for Toastmasters. My friends, do you have something that you've always wanted to try out, but you find yourself putting it aside for when the time is right? I will do this when my project is complete. I will do this when I have more money. I will start this when my kids are all grown up. I admit I have said things like that, except for the kids part, of course. But if we were to be honest to ourselves, time will never be enough. 
after one project, another one comes. Once we hit an income goal, we work towards another goal. Money is never enough. When the kids are all grown up, they have grown up problems. The thing we call problems are never ending. If we were to put our dreams on hold for these problems, then we will never ever start the first step. If not now, then when? I suck at table topics, right? I always use the excuse of giving an evaluation to escape doing table topics. But you and I both know that to get good at table topics, we have to do table topics. We can't just watch others do it and get better ourselves. So I set myself a resolution this year, that is to attempt a table topic a day. And that doesn't mean I have to do it at the club meeting. I can simply look for a question and then try to answer it. Just one question a day, start small. Because if you get, just, if you get better just 1% every day, after a year, you do not get 365% better. You get 3,800% better because of the power of compounding. My friends, if you always put aside something because of time, then start small. Just one topic a day, read 10 minutes a day, do one small step a day, and over a year, you'll see yourself become 3,800% better. The time is now. It is never too late to be what you might have been. Back to you, Table Topic Master. Thanks, Owen. What's an interesting speech. I know, I know now, I now know time is never a reason to stop your, to start to try. So I, I in this moment, I would like to cue my club president, Alicia. Do we still have time for the table topic? Alicia, are you there? Alicia? Peter, there are yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. See, yes. So can I still continue? Do we still have time for the table topic sections? Yes, we have. See. Okay, let's con let's welcome. Sorry, let's welcome our next speaker, Srini Watson. Yeah. See I'm which ready. topic? Yeah. yeah which topic? Uh, you actually interested? Number eight. Sure. Number eight. A journey of a thousand miles begin with a single step. A journey of a thousand miles begin with a single step by Lao Tzu. Hand over to you, Srini Wise and Srini Watson. Thank you, Table Topic Master. So, I think it's very true what we are seeing now, because if I compare this with my Toastmasters journey, the day I started out on my Toastmasters journey, it was the first step. I attended a Toastmasters meeting and they asked me to speak in these table topics. And that's where most of the Toastmaster journey starts. And with that one to two minute speech, we embark on a journey wherein sometimes we might end up doing like four to five hours sessions of marathon training or something like that. So it's very true that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Every big thing starts off with a single step first. Even the Taj Mahal was built by putting the first brick on the ground first. After that, only the great Taj Mahal came up. So every one of us must always take heart in our own way of doing things that we are starting small. Because even the great elephant was born a small baby first. So everything in this world starts off small. And uh, if you look at the human being, we start off in somebody's sperm as a small, minuscule little molecular cell. And today we are all, you know, a few million cells walking together, moving around, talking, thinking, doing a lot of things that we would have never imagined when we were in our mom's womb, that we would be able to do this. I always tell my people in the company, in my Toastmaster club, everywhere that you will not be able to think you're a failure if you consider that, you know, out of a few million sperms, you are the only one who succeeded and reached your mommy's womb and became a baby. So you are a winner from the time you were conceived. So there is no way that we cannot be a winner in life. All we need to do is we determine that 
we are doing it step by step. We can even eat a dragon if we eat it piece by piece. So it's always in our steps. And if we are sure about the steps, we can always achieve what we want. And the same thing occurs in everybody's life. You can do it if you think you can do it. It is all up here in your mind. With that, back to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you. Thank you for the interesting sharing. So, and now we will end our table, uh, table topic sessions. So I would like to invite uh, Corey. Do all of our participants qualify to, re sorry, to report the time reports? Yeah, uh, Yusuf, one minute, 50 seconds. Greasy, one minute, 40. Yeni, two minutes, 35. Sam, 30 minutes, 33. Owen, 2 minutes 22. Sri Nifazan, 2 minutes 10 seconds. So we have one. The first, second, fourth, sorry. The Yusuf, Gracie, Owen, and Sri Fasan that eligible for the footing. See. So thanks, Madam. Uh, Mad, uh, thanks, Kari. Let's, I would like to call uh, our grammarians. Do any of our speakers use the word of the day? Thank you, Table Topic Master. I did not hear anyone using the word invigorate or invigorating or invigorated. So I would encourage everyone to start using that word of the day. If not, I would have to have a little punishment for everyone to put in a sentence in our chat using the word invigorate. You can use it in any form, invigorating, invigorated. So please, do that if you have not used the word, which I think is the case for everyone here. There's such an invigorating word, Patricia. Invigorating. Thank you, Thomas. Well done. You have used it three times, I think, today. <laughs> See, thank we you. have... Thank, thank you, you Patricia. You invigorate us all, Thomas. Yes, I agree. <laughs> but I think durians invigorate you the most, Buckley. <laughs> Now we have 66% rating, 71%. Please vote. Your vote is mattered. Oh, hello, hello. 71%. Thomas, looking at your face, it invigorates me. <laughs> Yo, don't like that. Say that. <laughs> People may misunderstand that. Well, you, I already all the time said you are, you are so young, you can be my son. Alicia? Alicia? Yes? We have a voting rate of 76%. Could we end the polling? Yes, can. See, thank you. So... Now I would like to end the table of three sessions and hand over to our maidens of uh, Thomas of the day, Atmina. Thank you, Peter Chong. It was a great invigorating session and the session was so informative. It's full of information and recommendation. Now, uh, Alicia, can we give one minute for their feedbacks or no need? Uh... No, not feedback at this moment. Uh, we'll go for okay, a break. So let's, so let's now uh, go for the break for 10 minutes and then we will continue with our speeches after the break. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, now next section, let's move on to the next section, which is prepared speech section. So today, our first speaker is Angela Lensbury. And Angela teaches English and business English online and gives workshops. Her books include web speeches, quick quotations, who said what, when. Her forthcoming book is Improve Your English with Angela. You can see his books and blogs online at his uh, website. Now I would like to invite her evaluator, Owen Ter, to give the objective of her speech. Please welcome evaluator, Owen Ter. 
The purpose of this project is to practice delivering social speeches in front of club members. The timing sequence is three to four minutes. Please take note, timer. Three to four minutes. Uh, Thank you, Winter. Let me let us all welcome Angela Langsbury. Good evening. Can you all hear me? Can you wave your hands if you can hear me? Hooray, I see lots of hands waving. I'm going to talk about public relations. Public relations, somebody once defined as the art of rearranging flowers so that the best petals are at the front. And when you're publicizing yourself or your club, you've got to be putting forward the things which are good. Now I'm going to, I'm able to talk to you about some of the following, and I'm going to give you the whole list so that after I've spoken, you can come back to me with anything you want to discuss. And these are blogs, branding, Canva, colors, copyright, distinguished club program, meetup, mottos, newspapers, podcasts, all these things you can use to publicize the club, PowerPoint, ribbons, statistics, the Toastmasters International magazine, and Twitter and workshops. Now, the first thing is that you should be speaking positively because every one of you is an ambassador for your club. And it sounds like an obvious thing to do, but I've been at clubs where people have said, oh, don't make up your mind up about whether you want to join us yet, come along for two or three times. When somebody already was inquiring about how to join. It's, can you imagine going into a washing machine shop and saying, I'm interested in buying a washing machine and being told, well, don't make up your mind too fast, go and look around and when you're absolutely sure you want to buy a washing machine, then come back to me. The person would think they're absolutely mad. They bought the washing machines. They've got washing machines. And what have they got against me? Do they not like me or something? So always be positive about your club. You are the ambassador. Now, blogging. If you have a blog, you can be mentioning your club on your blog. I put a mention of the club every time on my blog at the end of my blog i put about the author and i mentioned the club if you're not mentioning the club on facebook on twitter on anywhere you're missing out and it's something else to talk about when you run out of other things to talk about now the same applies on facebook i've seen people put posts on Facebook and comment on other clubs, but they never take the opportunity to mention their own club. And there's usually an opportunity to mention your own club. Now, LinkedIn, I've never really put posts about my club on LinkedIn. And maybe we should be doing so because every time we give a speech, we've got something to say. And we could be saying it on LinkedIn and saying, this is what I said at my recent meeting. Maybe you'd like to comment on it. Now, LinkedIn has two or three different Toastmasters sections for different people, members of Toastmasters and people who are not members who want to know about it. So have a look at that. Twitter. I often go on to Twitter, but I'm not really a Twitter person. What I would like to know is which of you is interested in, for example, Twitter and WeChat, because then we can be swapping ideas. I can tell you about Blogger and Facebook, and you can tell me about Twitter and WeChat. So we have lots to do, lots of fun we can have, mentioning what fun we have on Singapore Online and Toastmasters in general. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Angela, for giving us such a wonderful speech and letting us know how to become ambassador of the club and the use of social media to improve the club. 
Now let's move on to our next speech segment. The second speaker for today is Srinivasan Sohen. He is a passionate Toastmaster who loves public speaking, leadership training, and was the People's Association Singapore speech champion for 2012. With that, I would like to invite the, his evaluator, Sam Chow, to please give the objective of his speech. The purpose of this project is for the member to introduce himself to the club and learn the basic structure of uh, public speech. With that, let me invite our second speaker, Srinivasan Sohan. Thank you. Toastmaster of the day. DTM, president, club president, fellow Toastmasters and uh, guests. This is uh, my second part. I am embarking upon my second part, engaging humor and uh, it's an icebreaker. Well, my journey started off 52 years, five months and two days ago. The earliest memory that I have is of rushing down a long, dark, warm tunnel and then finally ending up in a white, small cell, which is the ovum of my mom. And I was inside the womb for the next nine months and 23 days or something like that. And on 31st Chan, 1969, I entered this world. And uh, since my parents had no kids for about two years, and I was born after they prayed to a particular Hindu deity called Srinivasan, they named me after him. And that's why my name is Srinivasan, which is the name of that particular God. So I don't know how he gave me to them, but that's what my parents believed. And that's why my name is Srinivasan. And it's a very popular name in India. And uh, for those of you who may not know Hindu gods, he is one of the richest Hindu gods in terms of temple. His temple in Tirumala Tirupati, a place in southern India, is one of the highest earning temples because people donate a lot of money there. So they make like a few million dollars every day like that. But unfortunately, he only gave me life, but he didn't give me the money. I don't have a few millions dropping into my bank account every day or at least every month. In fact, I sometimes talk to him. I ask him, hey, try to make it at least every decade, you know. He just drops a million, maybe every decade, I'm still happy, you know. 50 years, I would have about 5 million now. But unfortunately, no. He decided that everything I need to make will be by my sweat and blood. Nothing is easy. You know, I've been about 25 years now in Singapore and I have never won anything in Lucky Draws. I have never won anything in 4D. I have never won Singapore Toto, nothing. So I don't know. It's very funny when we see that. He seems to give me only the hard work part of it. You know, nothing is free and easy. You know, even if a company dinner and dance, if I sit on a table, we don't will the table draw. Not even the table draw. I don't know why he's so pissed off with me. At least he can give me that, you know, the $2 boxes that they give you for sitting in one table, 10 people. I don't get that also. In fact, people don't come and even sit down next to me, you know, because they know nothing. I'm, I'm not going to win anything in my table. But then what I've won in life, I cherish more than the millions that I don't have because I've got great friends. I've got a great family. I got two great kids and they really make my life a joy to live. Even though right now I feel like I've been working too long and I'm tired, I'm sick, my health is not what it used to be and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, when I sit back and realize that I have my family around me, I have my kids who love me more than anything else. My son sometimes when he's pissed off will take a pillow and try to smother me. But the minute I tell him, hey, then he will take away the pillow and move away from me. But it's fun. It's enjoyable, right? So it's very important. So I really feel that 
I have come. If you see my title of the speech, right, it's a journey to the east, because normally every movie that we see is always a journey to the west, because in those days people from UK moved to US, which was to their west, and that's why most of the stories that are about people making fresh starts is always moving to the west, journey to the west. But my journey started from the west, and I moved to Singapore on September nineteenth, nineteen ninety six, I think. I landed in Changi Airport. And I was staring at the wonderful airport, wondering what the hell is this heaven or what? Because you know we come from India, and that time the Indian airports were not so glamorous. Now India is catching up, but Changi at that time itself was fantastic, and it was so stupendous to look at. It was invigorating the way I just see all the fountains and all the designs around it is fantastic, you know. So I was very happy, and they took me to the company. I came through an EDB recruitment, so I didn't have to pay. money to any agent to come here to singapore and i came here in 96 and in 97 they decided to give me pr the company asked me to apply for pr then i got my pr in 97 december then in 98 i brought my wife and my kid here and from then on it's been a journey that is like a roller coaster right all full of ups and downs and i don't know what is happening but whatever is happening is for the good i always believe in that because i always believe you know uh, swami vivekananda has told a story about two ways of living one's life he says it's either the monkey way or the pussy cat way in the monkey way he says it's like the baby monkey you need to hold on to your mum and she's going to jump from one tree to another the responsibility of holding on is yours if you drop you're dead you fall down and die correct but the pussy cat is the other way around he says the pussy cat just lies down the mum will pick it up and carry it everywhere so there the baby has no responsibility the mum is responsible for everything so in my life so far i have become like a pussy cat i just listen to what the god wants to do and i let him do what he wants because i know if tomorrow he decides he's going to throw me from the mountain there's only two reasons for that one he is either going to teach me to fly or he is going to be down there to catch me so why the hell should i worry either he is going to catch me or he's going to make me a fly you know flying man i might be the first one to fly without climbing into an aeroplane so i just put my trust in lord whichever god you want me to believe in and i go on so far my journey has been fantastic and i'm sure it will be even more fantastic given the way life is turning out to be back to you toastmaster of the day thank you shrinivasan for giving us such a wonderful speech about the journey that you took which is full of opportunities some disappointments and optimistic and faith and mindful lessons you have shared us with this your life stories with that i would say uh as ts elliot has said this is the feeling for soluble rhythm penetrating far below the conscious level of thoughts and feelings invigorating every word your speech was really very invigorating now let's uh, invite our third speaker which is me so azmina is uh, so azmina is uh, working in garments and i love public speaking running and volunteering services i would like to invite my evaluator thomas chen please give this the objective of my speech please invite Def thomas chen definitely invigorating as nina so two purpose statements for your speech firstly the purpose of this project is for the member to apply the skills needed to successfully lead in a volunteer or other organization and secondly the purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspects of his or her experience as a leader and or the impact of the 360 evaluation looking forward to you invigorating us with your invigorating speech back to you to us master of the day thank you thomas chen so after the pandemic we have entered to new world and it's a new beginning for every one of us whether it's any field whether it's at home whether you are at work whether you are in relationship whether your kids are starting out new 
in this new, we must careful of several lessons that we have learned over the period of time. So first lesson that I have learned is that we must not rely on the local information that we see through Google and through uh, different channels. Instead, we must rely on global. We see everything from global lens and rely on global information. Global information can be taken through many channels. First of all, we can go for networking. Accentual networking can be done through bringing constructive change to dialogues. We meet people every day, and that's the ground reality. I meet so many people that my grandparents meet throughout the year. While meeting, we must uh, understand that the people who are experienced than us, who have experts, we must talk to them, understand what is our mission. And after picking the miss mission, conduct intermediary and incremental steps. And once we know how to go about meet the people in the networking sessions, the people who are expert and who have wisdom. Also, we can, in order to meet these uh, networking people, we can identify them through social media channels. Also, in all this process, the self-image plays a great role. In order to create your self-image, you can uh, create through different social media channels and you can meet and attend the events. Another thing that we should be careful after the pandemic is that mentoring. If you want to pursue certain goals in certain way, then mentoring is also a good option. And then all this process, we must be careful that stay compassionate. Compassion is suffer together. If you have feel the pain, then under no circumstances, you will inflict same pain on others. So be compassionate and be humble. Humility is not a weakness, it's rather a strength. The peoples who are humble, the other peoples are naturally drawn towards them and they stay very happy. And internally and inner brain and mindfully, they are very happy. So rely to be humble and humility and stay compassionate. Also rely on networking. In this new world where people, we see people every time from different various backgrounds, different faiths, different color. So take this as an opportunity to progress yourself well. Take these differences as an strength and opportunity rather than uh, adversity. And take this all things as an catalyst of growth. We can only do this and progress well in a good civil society, which relies not only on meritocracy, but relies on good governance system and democratic freedom. And here we must stay in pluralistic world and also take help from the social media where we can raise our voices, where we can listen to the voices of other people's view. The social media, which is full of any control of the government, social media is kind of our servant and they are accountable for what they are showing to us. And that way the social media also participate in staying, in keeping our community pluralistic. And also we must have our aims, our views and staying mindful to live in the present rather than living in the past or wandering your mind to the places from where you don't get answers to rely on processes and in today's. In conclusion, I would say that to go to enter into the new world, we must stay mindful, stay in the present, rely on networking and mentoring system, stay and embrace the diversity and pluralism and be the part and participate in the civil society with a meritocratic approach and stay compassionate and humble, which will also uplift our mental and physical well being. And have the vision because it's a short life and we are all going towards exalted destiny. So have a vision and do extensive dialogue and consultation. Thank you.
with this speech, let's move on to evaluation segment. Now I would like to invite the evaluators of the speech. So first evaluator of the end, first speaker speech is Oventer. I would like to invite Oventer to give the evaluation for Angela's speech. Please help me welcome Oventer. Uh, testing, can you hear me? Okay. Thank you, Toastmaster of the, of the day for the, the introduction. And to you, Angela, thank you for sharing with us that, that informative and insightful speech. Now, the first thing I really like about Angela's speech that it is very structured. She had an introduction where she said, public relations is like a flower. And that immediately grabbed my attention. And then the body of her speech is how the, the, the different ways that she shared with us on how to promote a club. And then there is a conclusion is that we can all have fun in Toastmasters. So it is very structured and it's easy to follow. The second thing that I felt was that her speech has high value in the content. Uh, she shared with us many tips and strategies to promote a club. And I'm sure many of us can take a tip or two and apply it in our own clubs. So thank you for that, Angela. But before we move on to the recommendations, I would like to say that I am not familiar with social speeches. So what I'm about to say are just my observations and what I felt. Your speech is very helpful. But to me, I felt that it, it does not sound like a social speech at all to me. But in the Toastmasters International Manual, it says that Many social speeches require you to speak in praise of an individual or group being honored. Social speech is normally like a toast, an acceptance speech on it, or even an eulogy speech. I don't see any honoring or praising at all in your speech. It sounded just like a normal informative speech on how to promote a Toastmasters club. But the only hint I have that this may be an acceptance speech is from your speech title. Thank you for voting me as a community member. And that can be easily missed. If I did not see the program sheet at all, I wouldn't have guessed it that this is an acceptance speech. With my limited knowledge of acceptance speeches, it usually sounds uh, full of thanks and honoring the team to, who has helped you get to where you are and sharing your vision for what you hope to achieve, not a how to promote a club kind of speech. The second uh, thing that I notice is your eye contact. Is that you, uh, my suggestion is to look at the camera instead of the screen. Even right now, you were just looking at me, the camera, right? So the whole entire time you were looking upwards. And I think if uh, it has been over a year since you moved online, and I think we, most of us should learn to be more uh, aware of the camera, looking into the camera. And I'm sure uh, online meeting is going to stay for at least another six months or so. So I think that is something that to take note of. And that is, uh, so all in all, I thought that Angela's speech is very structured. It has high value. The only suggestion I have for her is to look into the camera, her eye contact, and perhaps, and what I felt was that this, doesn't sound like a social speech to me. But I'm, I apologize, I do not have much experience with social speeches. Back to you, Toastmaster of the Thank you, Owen, for giving us such a wonderful evaluation. Now let's move on to second evaluator, Sam Chow. Please give the evaluation of the speaker, Silwan Sohan. Please welcome Sam Chow. My, my apologize that um, I'm not familiar with Indian God and I don't have any experience in, in Indian God as well. Uh, anyway, uh, Srini Vasa. You can call me Vasa. Vasa. Yeah, yeah, Vasa. Uh, I feel that your speech was uh, smooth and interesting. And um, I like it first. I feel that you you were able to speak naturally and uh, 
think naturally as well in front of the audience. For example, when you speak, uh, you will pause for a few seconds, look at other sites and kind of like uh, pretend that you are think, thinking at that moment and then come back to the screen and then tell us about your life, right? You, uh, by doing that, I, I couldn't recognize if you were reading the script or not. And uh, you seem cool, calm, and collective. So those are the effects that you create. Very confident. That was great. So uh, all of us can just uh, pretend that we were thinking for a few seconds and then come back and then uh, start our, our speaking. And then second, you were able to insert some humor points to demonstrate your unique relationship and contrast between you and your Indian God. And, and right initially you mentioned uh, the God uh, gave you a life, uh, only life instead of the money and everything you need, you have to earn by yourself from your sweat and blood, never won the lottery total, right? And then, uh, then later on you mentioned uh, but God gave you great friends, family, two great kids, joy for life, although you were tired, right? So those contrasts really um, brought up your story in a glamorous level, and then that is know the contrast, not just uh, interesting or humorous, but also meaningful. And then you also mentioned, right, the 196, uh, the government invite you to be PR. 97, you got the, the wife, or you got a PR, or got a wife, right? So it becomes smooth, right? From the very tough line to become smooth. So there was a contrast that I like, and then uh, it's like from zero to hero journey. And I think the, the, the few things that you can think about is the opening, right? Initially, you, you mentioned, okay, this is my second part, engaging humor. Icebreaker. I feel that those things that you, you can just ignore and then straight away, uh, after uh, a few seconds, you can straight away jump into the story. Okay, my journey starts from 15 years ago, five months, an earlier memory I have, right? Straight away jump into that so that we can just uh, hear from you directly and then you can grip our attention directly, remove those redundant. And the second thing is, I, I feel that during your speech, there are a few moments where you can probably fu fully utilize your gesture more. For example, highest earning tempo, right? You can use the gesture to invigorate us. And there are a lot of uh, moments that you can use and utilize so that you can grab our attention more and then try to integrate your gesture with your speech. In short, natural thinking and speaking, meaningful content and contrast. You just need to kind of skip the project introduction and open your speech right from the start and add more gestures. And then your speech will be you know, more effective and invigorating for us. Shri Nibasa, keep going and growing. Thank you, Sam Chor, for giving us suggestions and recommendations to improve for all of us. Now let's move on to third evaluator, Thomas Chen, to give the evaluation of Azmina's speech. Thomas Chen. Amazing day, ladies and gentlemen, especially to Asmina. Today, Asmina shared with us how she led her community through the pandemic itself. And just like a great leader, she was able to inspire and impact us with her words. I shall start off by sharing what made her a great leader and speaker. Firstly, she shared a relatable and applicable topic, the pandemic itself, which all of us are experiencing right now. So we could understand the conflict, we could understand the challenges, we could understand the difficulties behind this situation. And by building the content on this premise, we get to relate and resonate with her on a deeper level. We can empathize with her and that builds 
the audience to speech connection. Well done on that, Asmina. Secondly, the tips she shared, they are simple in execution, yet powerful in effect. Things such as gathering more information, things such as going out to network, things such as practice mindfulness, everyone can do that. So by using something that is simple, it allows us to understand how can we exactly adapt accordingly and implement these solutions. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, remember, simplicity leads to clarity and clarity leads to actionability. By sharing with us these simple tips, we can take action right away. And finally, let's not forget her confidence and conviction. We could all feel that she's speaking from the bottom of the heart. She could all feel that she is here to truly impact us with her knowledge, her experience on how she led her community because she too want to let us as Toastmasters to have a better life in this situation itself. Now, Asmina, I would love to give you some recommendations so that you can be the Muhammad Gandhi of public speaking. So firstly, Asmina, I encourage you to share with us your transformational journey, the before and the after. How were you before you implement these tips and how were you after? Perhaps before you were feeling very afraid, you are uncertain, you did not know what to expect, but when you decided to come down, you decided to practice mindfulness, you decided to gather more information, you became more confident, you can navigate through this difficulty with effectiveness and efficiency. How did you transform? And secondly, within a solid and strong call to action to encourage us, the audience, to take action immediately right after your speech. Ladies and gentlemen, I know this situation is very challenging for all of us, but it is all the more with these challenges that we need to stay calm. We need to get more information. That we need to connect with others because us as a community, we can become stronger, better, and reach higher. So by doing so, we know what to take action right away. And of course, share with us more stories of your struggles and your transformation because at the end of the day, facts tell, stories sell. Share with us the personal stories. In summary, congratulations, Azmina. Relatable topic, simple yet powerful tips and confidence is right there. Share with us your transformation, stories of your struggles, call to action, and I'm sure you will be a spectacular leader and speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas Chen, for giving us tips and tricks how to be transformative and how to make a speech more transformative. With that, let's move on to the report from our timer. Corey, can you please give us the timer report? Yes, for Owen, it's uh, 3 minutes 22, Sam, 4 minutes 15, Thomas, 3 minutes 21. So Thank Owen you, and Thomas is eligible for the 14. Thank you, Corey. Now let's move on to AHA counter. I would like to welcome Sebastian to give his report. Good evening again, Philippus Masters and dear guests. So for the account of report under table topics. I have a yene with a two ums and four a, uh, some with one um and one a. Uh. Under speeches, Srinivasan, a very good speech, uh, but you should watch a little bit about the uh, uh, words such as you know and so. And under evaluation, I have some again with a two a and five a. Uh. That's it for the account report. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sebastian. Now let's invite Grammarian Patricia Ted to give her report. Thank you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you, all speakers. Everyone has done very well today. But let me just point out a few things. Yusuf has started his impromptu speech with a good quote. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. That quote was in fact in one of the table topics later on. For Sam Cho, you, you have spoken very well. There were a few things though I have picked up. The sentence, recently I just end a relationship. So it should be, 
Recently, I just ended a relationship because it's in past tense. I was extremely happy to hear you use the word invigorate. You have used it twice. You said invigorate us with your speech. Your speech will be in more invigorating. So that was wonderful to hear. You know, grammarian just wants to hear people using word of the day. So thank you for that. My apologies, not my apologize. Sancho also used alliteration, which was good. Cool, calm, collective. That was very nice to hear. And he encouraged us with the quote, things that do not kill us will make us stronger. Owen Ter. Owen said small steps. Oh no, Owen said start small. That was good. Two simple words, but they mean so much. What you could do is add some more words behind. Perhaps you can say start small, dream big. Srinivasan said this sentence. Even great elephant begins as a small baby first. That was very nice, but you should use the word calf. Even great elephants begin as a small calf. Srinivasan used the word stupendous, which was good. It adds flavor to your speech and invigorating. Thank you for that. Thomas, you have used the word invigorating three times in your project. Introduction, you invigorate us with your invigorating speech. That was very nice. And Thomas has used alliteration a few times, inspire and impact, confidence and conviction. Next, we have Asmina, who is wonderful. She's the Toastmaster of the day and she did a speech today. Thank you, Asmina. For the most part, very fluent. I thought at the end, there were just too many ends together in a sentence. So perhaps you can break down your sentence instead of using N too many times. So that's my report for today. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia, for such a wonderful detailed report. It was really very invigorating. Now let's move on to Table Topic Master to give us the report and the winner of the day. Please help me welcome Table Topic Master Peter Chong. Uh, really, or oh, Alicia, how can I see the result of the poll? Because the poll is still running for the best evaluator. All right, uh, Asmina, you are supposed to announce the winners. I'll send you a chat in the Zoom. Thank you. And over to you, Asmina. Could you, could you declare the readers? Yes. So today the winner of Table Topic Master is our grammarian. Patricia Te is the winner. Please give the drum roll. Uh, for Sorry, for Table Topic? Who's the winner? Yeah. I think that's a mistake because I don't think I did a Table Topic. You are so good that you didn't attend, but you are still the winner. <laughs> yes, but I am also very honest. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, I prepared search, so I was all ready to put the name down on our certificate. So who is put the your winner? Own name. Put your own name. The winner, I, I believe so, is that. Owen Azmina. The winner will be Owen. Owen. So today is the winner of the day for table topic is Owen. Please give him a big hand of applause. With that, I would say that today's meeting was a great meeting. We had the great speaker. We heard the, the life history from birth uh, of the Mr. Sriwansan. And then we get to hear the experience of uh, our second speaker as well, our, our, uh, our third speaker as well. With that, I would say that it's better both relaxing and invigorating to occasionally set aside the worries of life 
seek the company of friendly book from the reading of good books that came a richness of life that can be obtained in no other way said by Gordon B. Hinckley. With that, we will end our session for today. Sorry, Toastmaster of the day, is it okay for us to take a picture for Owen? Yes, please. Yes, please. Owen, are you here? Let me try and make this full screen. Mm. Okay, hold on. I hope this is all right. Go to the view, the view, view. under the view. Ah, so uh, on the top, there's a file and the oh. and view. Oh, yes, uh, view. And I should go to the full screen place. mode. Full screen mode. Full screen mode. Thank you, Thomas. Ah, is this awesome. all right? Can you see? Yep. Can you see the whole thing? Okay, and where is our Owen? Can I just spotlight Owen? Uh, sorry, can someone help me spotlight Owen? Because I'm, oh, I'm not here. able to. I'm here. Thank you, Owen. Congratulations. Is Owen spotlighted? Because I don't, I want to take a picture of our winner today. Oh, yes. Let me just. Worst case scenario, let's take a photo from his Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, uh, Patricia, that you can you can do multi pin now. Multi pin. You can okay, print so over after that. And your they smile. Open smile. One, two, three. All right, done. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you, Patricia and Owen. With that, I will adjourn. I will call the meeting as adjourned for today. Hey, how about the okay. best speakers yeah. and best evaluator? What happened to best speaker, best evaluator? Okay. okay. So I will uh, now let's <laughs> announce our best speakers and evaluators for today. So the best speech speaker for our today is Sriwansan Sohan. Please help me. Give a great hand of applause to Suvankin Slovan. Thank you. Let me prepare the search. Uh, Patricia, the photographs. Sorry? You would Patricia like to take a photograph? Patricia yes. Is preparing the cert. She's the preparing the certificate. Okay. Srinivasan, right? Yeah. Yay. Yes. Okay. It's exciting. Your cert is coming up. Just give me a second. I'm enjoying this really because we just prepared this certificate. No worries. It's the first time we're using. Thank Jennifer you. will tell us a joke meanwhile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be great. Oh, yeah. I will tell you a joke. Thomas is my son, by the way. Oh, okay. like okay. <laughs> Jennifer, I think there's some biases here. You have a lot of sons, but what about us daughters? Jennifer, who's your favorite? <laughs> and Yenny, Yenny is my daughter. <laughs> nah. uh, Jennifer, who's your favorite? Uh, why, why don't you ask me who's the father? <laughs> by the way, her husband was very high one. Uh, so Jennifer, it's very good to be her children. Actually, I wanted to ask you by which way, because you said by the way. Thomas is my son, so I wanted to ask by which way. <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> I think I will have to take this. C and section, then C section, my C section. <laughs> I have to take this picture and crop it nicely later, okay? Right. No problem. So, all right. Uh, give a nice smile. One. Can you see the screen? Can you see yes, the screen? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. You need to full screen. Need to full screen. Yeah, yeah you need I to. tried, but let me see. View and then full screen. Full screen. Full screen. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not working. It's oh. not working. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Yeah. Opening a PDF. PDF. Later.
I'm gonna crop it nicely later. Okay, smile. No worries, can edit. Yeah, Photoshop. Thank you. One, two, smile. All right, great. But Tracy, you. you try it next. next. Try. It. Oh, it's not new. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, Corey okay, is the design, it. the design queen. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Stop share. Okay. Can we have the evaluate um, best evaluator? Can hear you. You're muted. Our best evaluator for today is Thomas Chen. Please give a drum roll and help me uh, give a big hand of applause to Thomas Chen. Uh -huh. And now I get to prepare the search for Thomas. Much to learn, much to learn. No worries, you can use my slimmer photo on social media. Oh, that you, one you is know, too handsome. Thomas, there's a rumor going around you're banned from table topics, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really? I think we need one wall just with Thomas and Table Topic certificates. <laughs> uh, the certificates are all beautiful. Whoever has planned it very nicely. Thank you. Nice, beautiful. Yeah, I, I love this design. It's amazing. Very kind. Yeah, the designs are very good. Who did it? That is very nice. Uh, uh, I did it with a lot of guidance. From oh, the me, team, me, you don't know how much I bother them. Thomas, you gotta help nice. me. With this. I go to view. Hello, oh, hello. Yeah, it's not working. The full screen is not working. Okay, you are very handsome. Let me put this side oh. by side and I'll do it. <laughs> I'll crop it nicely later. One, two, smile. Okay, done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Thank you all, and congratulations once again. Very nice. Very nice work. Congratulations to all winners. Congratulations yeah, to all the winners. Congratulations to all winners. Alicia, any more, any more things? Or we can end. My closing speech, thank you. <laughs> now I would like to invite the president to give her closing speech. Please help me welcome Alicia Chai. Thank you. Toastmaster of the Day, Dynamic, Asmina. Well, thank you very much to all the speakers, be it table topics, prepared speeches, and evaluate, evaluators. You have all given very, how shall I put it? Speeches invigorate, no, ideas, speeches, inspirational things that have invigorated me. Right, even my own speech, I hope it was invigorating. Now, we are all using Zoom. And it's in Zoom, you, there are few easy ways to be the most dynamic person at Zoom. Don't be afraid to give eye contact. The camera is just there. And your audience is in the camera and beyond. Be a great listener. Never interrupt another person. So I give everyone out there, whoever is host, if someone is interrupting your speech, mute the person. Ask follow-up questions. And another tip is to dress well. Dress to impress, like me. I see our Toastmaster of the day dress very nice as well. And even our Toastmaster of the day, in her speech, she had some very good pointers to lead in any situation. And these are all pointers that make a dynamic leader, like mentoring, passion, compassion, humble, and networking. Well, there's so much to talk about being a dy dynamic person and even a dynamic leader. But I will not keep you too long. I'll just like to end off my closing speech with this quote. Life is fluid, ever evolving. The more dynamic you are, the more happens in your life all the time. So I declare the meeting to end today. Thank you everyone and have a pleasant weekend moving forward.
Thank you. Hey, Jennifer.